I bet after this, she won't ever play football again against the boys. And whatever ounce of feminism that she had within her would be knocked out. Stay tuned to see what happens next. All right, y'all. Before we get into this video, man, we're going to start off and do some push-ups. Let's knock out 20 push-ups real quick. Because we have to challenge ourselves every day to improve even a little bit. Let's get it, man. 20 push-ups. Let's do it. Ready? Set, go. It's my mission. I can never stop. Can't afford to fly. I'm spreading truth. Everything I do. Waking all these bots. They say Jesus coming back, but I don't know if that's a fact. Ain't no time to wait. I'm taking action. You can bet on that. I'm not a victim, bitch. I'm here to stay. Paving my own way. I'm not a slave. Got the line. Let's get to the video. All right. So shout out to Araco TV for making this video. With no further ado, we're about to get right into it, man. My name is Sky Bree. I'm 23 years old, and I am an OnlyFans model. Oh, she's only 23. For some reason, I thought she was like 27, 26. I did not know she was 23. And I just recently started Twitch. I think you're gonna love this. I'm super excited for both of you. I guess it's just something about doing porn and OnlyFans that just takes away a girl's innocence, so she just seems older than she is. And turn around. <laughs> All right, so guys. Okay. <laughs> So, first thoughts? Um, one of them's really sticking out. The guy with the tattoos, am I right? Is that the one? I wonder if he's nervous to get a Sure, what you I got? I think we're all nervous <laughs> to get a it, It's not cook. gonna work. The one on the end, Loki. Hold up, did y'all see that? What is my guy wearing? Is that a guy or a girl, bro? What the hell? That must be a girl, bro. Cause like, no homo though, like, where's the bulge? This man is damn near wearing a thong with no bulge. It, it's not gonna cook. work. The one on the end, Loki, kind of looks like he does. I look like I have a. No, I don't. <laughs> you kind of do. Oh, pause. He he a little he a little sus. Sticking out a little it, bit. You see what, I'm talking, I see what you're talking about? <laughs> yeah, he looks like he's packing. Yeah, you. Thank you for doing. Yeah, that that looks like her mom right there. They look alike. Bit. Someone said in the comments, Skybree is the equivalent to taking a piece of gum stuck under the table. Skybree is so sad. Honestly, I personally think Skybree is super mid, like maybe a 7 out of 10, just not for me. Someone's daughter. But well, he's calling a 7 out of 10 mid. 7 out of 10 is not mid, y'all. 7 out of 10 is above average. But or not, the woman that's with her, the blonde woman, is actually her mother. What? Hey, man, at least you got supported parents. Or a supported parents. Because I know for damn well her dad don't support this. That's like one of the... The worst things that could happen to a man, like their daughter start doing porn or OnlyFans. If that ever happens to my daughter, I know I failed. I'm gonna be buried in the ground with a disappointed look on my face. This time I'm gonna be buried. I'm gonna look just like this in the grave. You have a whole woman in your room right now and you're watching anime. It's like, shut up. Michael B. Jordan watches anime. Henry Cavill plays video games in Warhammer. And Joe Manganiello loves D&D. I bet the women they give their attention to don't bag on them for their hobbies. <laughs> exactly. What the hell is wrong with anime? I love me some Dragon Ball Z. I love me some Naruto. Get hit with a lamp blade. I, I stay ten toes. Ain't nobody tripping up like my rope. Niggas wanna be me like my clothes. Fireball jutsu burn these hoes. Niggas irrelevant call them ten ten. I got my clothes from the fake friend. I do not follow. I set trends. Trying to cross me is a dead end. Hey. Subscribe! Party. It was cool. Did you have a lot of fun? Yeah. Travis Scott was there? Yeah. It was cool. Yeah. Why are you looking at him like that? He's like tall now and like his voice is deep and stuff. You've never met me. She wants my guy D, man. She wants somebody that LeBron D. Well, stay away from these greasy donuts and focus on yourself. Harry, <laughs> you want to buy me a drink? No. Oh, why? Because you're not going to pick me. He said, so, you know what's up, bro? Back in my day, we had Wonder Woman. Now your generation wonders if it is a woman. <laughs> oh, hold on. Now, that was some bars right there. That was a bar. Bro, no one today knows what a woman is. If my mom who gave birth to me is a woman, <laughs> and my wife is a woman, um, though I haven't asked her. Maybe I should. Um, but if they're all women, and also the boy who sits down with you and says, I, I think I'm a girl, actually is one, then... Then what is a woman? Mm. Yeah. Great question. I'm not a woman, so I I can't really answer that. Where is my dad in public? Attention, everyone. I have a quick toast. What are you doing? Tomorrow, my dad here is going on a date with a girl for the first time in five years. Yeah! That was my son. He getting disowned. He getting his own, bro. How you gonna do me like that? 
I raised you. You came out my nuts second. You gonna do this to me? You disowned. <laughs> Oh, my, my. All right, so to my understanding, it looks like they're playing flag football, so the tackling is unnecessary. Second of all, I don't think boys and girls or men and women should be playing physical sports versus each other, man. This is because shit like this will happen. I'm saying this to protect the women. I hope she's okay, you know what I'm saying? Call up a guy and say you want to come tonight. Oh, I got a good one. Yeah. Can we hang out whenever you get back? Uh, now you want to hang out? No, I do, yeah. Absolutely not. Perfect. Perfect. I'm gonna go with someone else. We love to see it. Come on, go. Okay. The oh. <laughs> 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 Bro's gonna get cancelled for this uh, in 50 years. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy. Oh, you'll enjoy. <laughs> um, yeah, I swear to God, that's some shit I would do. <laughs> ah, that shit funny as hell, man. Your partner cheated with your friend who is more at fault. Partner? partner. What the hell are you My friend? Uh, get the f out of here. Dude, no, don't f my friends, bro. Have you been a friend with your friend long or your partner long? Definitely, probably my friend long. Okay, right? so whose fault is it actually? My partner's fault for ruining my friendship, bro. You gotta get rid of both of them, man. Your friend doesn't have respect for you, and your girl cheated on you. None of them have respect for you. Cut them both off, man. They're both not loyal. Ed, if you uh, think she's girl, a catfish. I think she actually looks better right here. <laughs> Mate. <laughs> cool. Bro, I know every time one of the girls in one, one of these videos where the guy walks off, I know they go back home questioning their whole reality. They are hurt within the core. Their ego is like pow, 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 broken in a million pieces, bro. I won't be surprised if they just retire, go to the mountains of Tibet, become a monk, and just meditate for the rest of their lives trying to mend their broken ego. This is a spiritual experience for them right here. It's evolution, you know what I'm saying? It's growth. This is something you shouldn't do. What was that? Is that a dog? Uh-oh. <laughs> it's Hillary. <laughs> what is the worst? <laughs> That's funny, bro. That's funny. Since you've ever had on a date. Damn. I took this broad out to, uh, Motherfucker Olive Garden and Olive she had to go to the bathroom, left her phone unlocked. She said, when I get done eating, come pick me up. To who? Some nigga that had to pay the bill because I ran up out that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. My G! Dab me up, man. Dab me up. Yeah. Fuck that. Get me. First of all, man. I don't know, you should have seen the sign in the first place that this girl was not really that interested, man. You gotta know how to read when these girls aren't that interested in you. You should never take them on dates, man, because this is the type of behavior you will get. She's on a date with you for the food while she's texting another guy. Like, the fuck? You shouldn't have never taken her on a date in the first place. What I would do, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have left, I would have let her pay her half. That's what I would have did. I would have went 50-50 on the bill. Usually I pay for the entire thing because that's who I am, you know what I'm saying? I'm the man, you know what I'm saying? I'm that nigga, you know what I'm saying? So when I take a girl on a date, I pay. But I usually just go on coffee dates. So I end up paying like $10. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I never take a girl out on an expensive dinner date. Hell no. Unless I've been dating her for a good amount of time. I tell anybody. Do you have daddy issues? Well, you see, Hell yeah. I, I don't really have a dad. What's your body count? Hey, that, she's the definition of daddy issues. Like six? <laughs> Times ten. <laughs> so you're a liar. What's my type? Yeah. Anyone who thinks I'm hot. Okay, let me get your number. <laughs> for real? Yeah, for real. You live out here? Yeah, I live in Athens. Alright, I'm gonna tap in with you. Alright, period. Damn, this is actually very sad to see, bro. Her self-esteem is like 
down here, bro, to the floor. That is crazy, bro. This is why you do need dads. If she had a dad, she'd probably have more self-worth. Because what the fuck? Like, I legit feel bad for her. Like, she needs she needs help. She needs, like, she needs some healing, bro. Her self-esteem is way too low. Damn. And she's not even bad looking. And he got that thing, so I'm hot. Oh, I'm just, you, you know her body count is higher than six. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Fat bitches need to shut up, bro. It be a lot of the fat girls talking. You, you fat bitches need to shut the fuck up. Yeah, I don't get it, bro. It's like the fat girls be the most confident ones a lot of times, bro. They be acting like they're nines and tens out here. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Something, we doing something wrong, bro. If fat girls can come out here and say they're a nine and ten, we doing something wrong. We lying. Y'all niggas are lying to these girls. And you're desperate for some vagina. Listen, man. Calm your horny ass down, bro. You gotta start letting these girls know, in a polite way, of course, that they ain't all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're really gonna boost up, boost up a fat girl's ego. She will never, ever feel the need to lose the weight to look better because she's already getting the attention from you, Sims. You know what I'm saying? You guys. It's crazy. I don't know what your topic is tonight, but I just. Oh, guess, yeah. guess, guess these nuts. <laughs> and when she left me, I was a big fat piece of shit. Had to level up. It's just it's the only way. Yeah, but it's just that I realized while being in the relationship, I lost myself and I became that big fat piece of shit. Cause I wasn't a big fat piece of shit, but I became that because I lost myself in the relationship. When she left me, I was like, oh, what the fuck? I am a firm believer that relationships aren't mistakes, bro. Every relationship you've ever been in, anyone you've encountered, is all for a reason. It's all on purpose to teach you something. So any relationship you've ever been in, you learn something from it. Whether it's quick, a week, a year, 10 years, you will learn from that relationship and it's meant to help you. Because my last relationship taught me a lot about myself. It taught me a lot about what I want for myself and the things I look for in a girl. So just guys, everything happens for a reason. Everything happens on purpose. The universe is working for you, not against you. Can I say hi? Yeah. Hi, you little bloop. Why are you so cute? Hi. What's the name? His name's What's Your Number? Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, what's your number? You're the cutest. Yeah. Crazy name. <laughs> Oh shit, she didn't give me a fuck, bro. God damn, she just curved my guy in the smoothest way possible. Would you say that she's more of a traditional woman where she's being really submissive or? All right, so she has an alter ego called Boss Bitch. She's alpha female. I, I am very- Translation, she's a headache. <laughs> like alpha and he does not like that sometimes but he respects it so i'm in real estate in new jersey this year i have made more than he has so he respects that and her bringing that up with within itself just shows that she doesn't respect him that much and she probably low-key has a little resentment like i earn more than you you're a little bitch and he knows that I can do what I need to do to get where I need to be. Not very many men know that women can be in authority in a certain position in a certain time and do a certain amount of money. So I'm very appreciative because he respects the fact that I do what I need to do. Yeah, man. Like, you can't be an alpha in a relationship when the man is supposed to lead. And we all know that women don't like leading long term as a man you're supposed to lead a relationship you're supposed to protect and provide for your woman and her, your woman and your woman can have her own thing too you know what i'm saying don't get me wrong like i would love to have a girl with some brains on her good head on her shoulders have a have a cool career you know what i'm saying but at the same time i would want my girl to know how to operate when it comes to our relationship i don't want to be arguing with you the entire time of a relationship i want you to be my peace i want you to follow my lead like dark skin, light skin, light skin. Oh, you like light skin? You like that? Nah, I'll pass. Why so? I got a man. Your man light skin? Yeah. So if he was to talk to you, you wouldn't even say nothing? No. You would just walk away? Yeah. What's up, baby? Hey, my girl don't act like that. I don't want her, man. I don't want her. That's what's up, bro. All right. With that said, I'll see you on the next one.